wonderful people and uh, today I bring you something slightly different. Veridi! Verdi diddy dee veridi diddy dee Anyway, it's um, I'm always on the lookout for free games that I can put up and things that are positive. Uh, so I've had this for quite some time now, I think about two weeks. I've been <laughs> nurturing this game to find out what the hell it's all about. It has a user review of very positive, 987 reviews, most of them very positive. I mean, it's been out since the 19th of, 19th of August, so I may have had it a little bit longer, I think I've got about on the 20, 21st. So what's it all about? Well, this is what it's all about. I mean, I haven't touched this in a fair few days, uh, and now you can... I've watered the plants and I've left them be, uh, and now I'm, I've left my little snail as well. And I'm, I'm coming back. And you press the play button to find out what's happened since you last were here. So, hey, okay. drum roll, please. Let's put that in post. Person that I pretend I've got in my room that does things like that. Oh, it's me. Okay, drum roll, please. <gasps> and here we go. Yep, that's it. So, uh, I can now get, I presume these are weeds? I can get rid of the weeds. And, um, turn it, of course. Now there are a variety of different, uh, plants that you can get. First things first, let's just make sure they're not, they are, they're thirsty. Right, let's, there we go. Anything that's kind of greyed out tends to be thirsty. Oh, it's parched. Oh, God, I mean, I've, I've been looking after these better. Jesus Christ, Phil, I mean, they could have gone off. That's thirsty as well. And then they get their colour back because that's how, that's how, the, you know, plants work. Arched. There we go. So what can you do in the game? No, oh, that's it. You can spin it. Which will probably make some people motion sick. Stop it. You can you can zoom in. To all these beautiful like textures. You play an MSG5? <laughs> Guys. This is the shit. Right here. Look at this. Mad Max, ain't got nothing on this. Now I will say, it is free. Can't be too hard on it. The blurb is, nurture a small pot of succulents. Yeah, why not? That grow over time. Viridia is a safe haven, a place you can... Turn to for a moment of peace and quiet whenever you need it. I couldn't read it because it was on. <laughs> so what else can you do? I can, I can make the cute snail wet. See that? Made it wet, and I can also bin him. Get out, snail. I'm gonna eat my stuffs. That can't be it, right? No, you're right. There's other stuff. You can turn the music on and off. Ooh, hours of fun right there. And then you got the greenhouse. So, you get one free thing per week. Well, I haven't had it for two weeks because I've only got one plan. I've had it just under two weeks. You can buy seedlings. They are real money. Yes, real world money. They are nine cent. Nineteen cent, because well, you want to pay extra for those, right? Twenty-nine cent, which I've got one in the middle of. I didn't pay for it. The ones I got for free. 
And then the last two, 39, which I got one of those in my, I got one of those in my random things. So I got two of the most expensive ones. So you can pay money if you want. I mean, you know, why wouldn't you? I got a lot of achievements there as well, which you can't actually see, but never mind. I did, I got achievements, I'm telling you. What else can you do? You can repot. And look at that choice of pots. That is like, that is what IGN would call limitless. Limitless pots. Seemingly limitless pots. And then you click on the link and find out it's like 10. That's what they do. That's a rant for a different day. What else you got? Visual. Go to your original pot. The original pot, you ask? Oh, why? Wow. Why, yes. <laughs> because for the low, low price of $4.99, you can buy another pot. You can have... Yes, was it the pot? You can have all of this excitement again for five dollars which is probably about what about two pounds sixty probably about so say about three three pounds that is roughly and probably about two about three euro i don't know something like that whatever exchange rates who cares that's it It's even named badly named Twitch, because why not? I suppose it's peaceful. Arming. It's free. It's on Steam. It's called Viridi. V I R I D I. And of course, I've gone for the, the best. Best pot, which is Cat Pot. I mean. Why, why wouldn't you go for the cat pot? I mean, it's like... Come on. The frickin' cat pot. They've got... They've, they've got... Look at them. they got a cheeky little grin. A cheeky little snail. A cute snail. Cheeky cats. Plants that grow in... In real time. So, Viridi is a safe haven. A place you can return to for a moment of peace and quiet whenever you need. Leave Viridi open in a second window to keep you company while you work. Or check on your plants as a meditative moment every night. While not fully realistic, you don't fucking say. They are very forgiving. Your succulents... Succulents? No, that's very sexual. I don't know what... Does it come across as sexual? Maybe, I don't know. Your succulents will require some maintenance and can die from over or under watering. Name your favourite plants. Give them special care and attention, and they might even flower for you. I don't know how you name them. Ah, oh, no! Do not mean to do that? I mean, I'm not sure you can name them. There you go. It's free to try, and comes with your choice of plant assortments. If you think it has a place in your life, you can buy your favourite plants from the in-game nursery for just a few cents apiece. Remember to visit the nursery occasionally for a weekly free seedling. You mean, remember to visit weekly for the free seedling, not occasionally. I mean, it's recommended by... It's got like 856 positive reviews, 131 negative reviews. People are saying here that they sing. They sing to their plants. Or, or watching a snail race around a flower pot. There's... There's not much racing going on there. 10 out of 10, very exciting, lots of action, small plants are cute. <laughs> I mean, I had fun watering my snail. People are finding it, I mean, if, if they're finding it calming, I suppose, then, I mean, all my satirical bullshit kind of goes out the window, really, doesn't it? Because if people are actually finding it very calming, 
I mean, here's, here's some pluses from uh, Cagnix with a heart made out of a two with a colon and a and a three, which is always amazing. Very calming. Has a snail. Has plants. Has more plants. No zombies. Very easy to pick up. Free. Free plant every week. Now for the cons. No snail skins. So, but uh, but he, we've got Daisy here who says I've managed to kill three digital plants and I feel bad about it. But still gives it a recommended. Uh, somebody here said he's, he's selling some good pots. I mean, I'm not entirely sure this is a good game, but I suppose if it helps people relax, then it helps people relax. Somebody else here saying that the actually the game is about the snail. Because he is the only constant, the only thing that never changes. He is a paradox. I'm not sure that's the right word for it, but that's what they that's what they're saying. Could you slut? So Snail racing game, waste of time, not even a game, or something to help stress. You can decide. You can download it. It's free. It's in your Steam library. And for the low, low price of five... Four pounds and 99 pence, you can actually get all the downloadable content for this game. Which it doesn't actually tell you what it is. But hey, 22 Steam, Steam achievement points. Love it or hate it, here it is, guys. For your entertainment. Cat, bowl, snail, racing, plant growing sim, 2015. It's for Riddy. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you. <laughs> I'll see you. Next time with maybe an actual game? You'll have to wait and see.